In today's video, I'm using some more of my paints that I used in my previous Peacock Dutch Pour, and I wanted to do another one. Um, this time I'm just doing a 12 by 24 inch canvas. In my previous one, I used a circle canvas, so I just wanted to see um, what kind of design I could get with this one. But I have my small hair dryer that I'll be using, and then my colors, including my white, are mixed with um, about two parts flow trawl to one part paint and then I just slowly add some water until it's the consistency that I want for pouring. I don't use any silicone in this. I'm just using that flow trawl to help create some cells in this Dutch pour. But I'm just starting out by putting a base coat of my white paint down and then I will be adding colors for my pour. Once I had my white paint down, I just started taking my colors and um, putting them on about two thirds of my canvas. And I'm leaving that front one third open for where I will paint my peacock. And I'm just kind of putting them um, in the same direction as what I will blow them out. So I'm just creating a few different lines of paint and then I will blow them out in that direction towards the right. Once I had all of my colors down, I just used my hair dryer to blow them out and I got a really nice flowy shape um, with all of them. I think the Dutch pour works really well to blend those colors and then you can also really control the direction and the flow of your paint with the hair dryer. So I was just trying to make it look like some abstract feathers for this. I didn't like a few areas of the color, so I ended up adding a little bit more and just kept on blowing out the paint until it looked the way um, that I wanted it to for this. Once I was all done with my Dutch pour, I let this dry for a few days before I started working on the peacock. And I just traced out my design with a pencil. Um, I should have moved my peacock back a little bit. I had it a little bit too close um, to the left side of the canvas and I didn't put it uh, close enough to the paint so it looks a little odd, but um, overall I like the way that my peacock turned out with painting it. And I'm just using phthalo blue, black, and white for my colors. And most of its body is that phthalo blue. And then I'm just adding in some of my white paint to give it a little bit of contrast and shadow in there. I just did a few coats of that dark blue until I felt that I had good coverage over the canvas 
and then just slowly added in areas of the white highlights until it was the way that I wanted it to look and then I'm using the black and some of the white for the beak and the eye area. Overall, I was really happy with the way that this one turned out. I think I like the one on the circle canvas that I did better, um, just because of the flow and the shape of all of the tail feathers. I think the circle is just a more interesting design, but the colors in this one and my painted peacock turned out really, really well. So I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you like this one or if you like the round one better. Um, I may try out some other variations of this and try and um, get more detailed feathers. But I do like the way that the peacock turned out and this is a really fun way to embellish a painting. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you all in the next one.